Is it Charles? It is, yes, you're Hello, right. Charles. And um, we've got Wes. Yep. Cool. Charles, uh, you are our claimant, and Wes, you're the defendant. Charles, could you tell me why you've brought Wes to our court? Today? Your Honour, I brought Wes here today for compensation for a holiday he sold to me as a trip of a lifetime that ended up as a nightmare. Wow, you've got a nice tagline. <laughs> OK, so can you give us some details of what exactly happened? He talked me into a holiday. Right. He told me it was going to be an amazing holiday in L.A. He'd right. uh, organised the villa in the L.A. hills, in the Hollywood hills. Sounds nice. Yeah, and he'd uh, got a few single friends that were going to be joining us there. So you're thinking smashy town? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I was. I'm, I'm thinking romance in L.A., <laughs> you know. It's, uh, oh, and um, Bang, bang time, yeah. I so <laughs> I gave him the money for the holiday, paid him. You, so you, you gave him the money for your holiday? I paid him for my holiday. OK, cool. Yes, yeah, paid him that. And then just before the trip, he asked for another £900 for spending money. For spending money for... For him. Why did he need you to give him spending money? What was He told me that he was a bit short that month and he paid me back the month when we got well, back. It looks like he's short every month. <laughs> <laughs> Why was the holiday not a holiday? What happened? Well, it turned out to be a nightmare. Um, Is it just you two? Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Oh, that sounds like a nightmare me. for me already. <laughs> <laughs> so everything was going well. Yep. First day, we hiked straight out, uh, went to uh, Universal Studios. Lovely. Yeah, that That's was... where you find the girls. That was... <laughs> <laughs> and then the next day, the nightmare began. OK, so what happened? Two guys rocked up. Right. Um, clearly, Wes didn't know who they were. Okay. And it turned out to be a pickup course. So Wes signed you up for a pickup course. Course, a, a course that teaches you how to uh, chat up ladies, is that right? That's correct, <laughs> yes. Um, and, it, and you didn't want that? I didn't sign up for that. I wanted to go no. on holiday. So I was subjected to a week of hell. Uh, OK, so, has he paid you back the spending money? When I got back, I asked for my money back. Yeah. And Wes said that he, that was for the course, the 900 was to pay for the course. So he somebody lied to, to you? Yeah. So did. you're claiming for the 880 plus the 900, that's what you want back? Yes, correct. You? OK, great. Wes, can you explain yourself? Look. At the end of the day, if I would have told him that's what we was doing, he yeah. wouldn't have gone. Well, that's how choice works. Yeah. Then. Yeah. <laughs> There's a thing called kidnapping. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I wouldn't have asked him to come on it if I didn't believe that he needed it. I think right. we both needed to benefit from the skills, and that's why I wanted to do it. Yeah. But he did learn stuff on that course, regardless of what he's telling everyone. Do you have girlfriends? Not at the moment, but oh, I've had a few didn't since. Work then, did it? No. <laughs> so you think the course is useful? Yes. Okay. But this is my point. It was useful for him. Yeah, because oh. he's a loser. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, um, I'm quite intrigued to see how good this course was. So... Yeah, why don't you try it on me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've well, got some go... wine. I got some wine. Let's hear a pickup line. Come okay. Uh, let's... Gary, I think uh, make it a little harder for them. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> look, look, this is how normal girls hang out at the bar. <laughs> so... <laughs> OK, Wes, do you want to give it a go, then? I'm not very good, but I'll have a go. It's OK, go on. Wes, Wes, what? over here. I'm not smoking anything. No, I know. This is your chance of redeeming yourself, all right? I've got no this. chance of a girl like her. Hey, of course you have. What did they teach you on that course? They just taught me a bit more confidence how to actually... Then go and the show us what you learn. And if it all goes badly, just have a little boot up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Pick up line. It's not really a pickup line. You just go up to the girl and you'd ask him a question. So I would say, like, um, me and my friend had a little bit of a bet. We wanted to know whether he was a student or a nurse. I'm, I'm neither. <laughs> See, it didn't matter whether he was a student or a nurse because you answered me and then I got tight into you. That's the point that I'm trying to make. Oh, the, the hook in. It's the hook in. Then the, that just basically so gave me the confidence. So you're basically like a charity mug. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> What did you think of that, Kerry? This is straight up. There's not a chat up line. It's, it's just not a chat up line. No, but that's the thing. That's the what's, point. It's not meant. This is one of my chat up lines. This is one my dad taught me. Yeah, mine. Can you smell egg in here? <laughs> <laughs> Good. You want to go out sometime? Yeah. <laughs> Anytime, baby. See? Wow, why did I try that? Put their mind in a place where something disgusting may happen. Right. Can they smell egg? No. You farted, they can't smell it. <laughs> They're going to go out here. I'll leave it. Wes? Oh, my God. OK. I could have done that for 50 quid, mate. <laughs> uh, Rachel, what were the monetary damages? Uh, well, I had to get a new badge for my car, and obviously the person that changed the badge on the car had to see that as well. So, paid for a new badge, paid for a mechanic to fix it. Mate. What's going on? Are you in now? No bother. Yeah, let's come out. Ah, uh, but Cheers, mate. Give us a second. Hold that thought, actually. Just for a second. Sorry, Ron. What are you doing? Just give us a second. <laughs> Come in, mate. Don't worry about it. Cheers. Just pong it down on the desk <laughs> there for a minute. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thanks. 
<laughs> Can I set up with you at the end of the week? Nice one. Cheers, Vinny. I have never seen anything like this. <laughs> a white pizza delivery guy. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got? Uh, meat feast. Meat feast. All the meats, mate. Your favourite. It's not my favourite. I'm a vegan. vegan. <laughs> I didn't even think about that, I'm sorry. No, you didn't, OK. I enjoy that. Sorry about that, ladies. Obviously, it takes a lot to keep that alive. Um, so... So you're saying I called you? Yeah, you text me and said, Mum, I haven't had spicy food for a while, so can you cook some food for me? I think the thing is, you don't tell me that your mum is coming round with these care packages. Or maybe some days you maybe eat two dinners, you go round there, oh. and then you come and okay, eat. Okay, I'm not home. dinner cheating on you, all right? <laughs> if, that's what, if that's what you're getting. Well, then your mum calls you fat. Yeah, she does. And then I you do. say to me, I want to lose weight, help me, and maybe your thing is. Anyway, it? you make bland food, so how can you eat? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Rob, I think the big question is, whose cooking do you prefer? Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you shitting me? <laughs> you literally... You've literally <laughs> taken a shit on my life right now. <laughs> oh, and it feels so good. <laughs> What kind of things do you cook? Jess, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's a no, you don't have to listen to that. What you... no. Roast dinners, fajitas, spaghetti what? bolognese, shepherd's pie. Oh, just... all these. Oh, sounds yeah. delicious. <laughs> and Rom, you know, in answer to the question, the big question, whose food do you prefer? Because you always make people answer the question, so I feel like... To Sorry, am that. I...? <laughs> I wish I could help you on this one, bro. Why did you say that and then lick your lips? <laughs> it's such, it's such I was just a, thinking about all those lovely a... meals that Lisa said about, the fajitas, shepherd's pie, some of my favourite dinners. OK, so both of you are great cooks, but you specialise in different areas. I don't want to, you know, clarify that, but, you know, look at them. I think it's obvious which one does the curries and which one does the shepherd's pie. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the truth is is that you're both very accomplished cooks. Lisa, I love your vegan brownies, and I hope that you too love your vegan brownie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't applaud that. <laughs> uh, so I'm going across to apparently the defendant, but it turns out the judge is a defendant in this case. <laughs> yeah, in fact, actually, well, I think maybe you should just come down and <laughs> get in the defendant. <laughs> If you want to just... Me and Tom will handle it from here. You guys, you guys can stay up oh, here, right? Yeah, okay. um, who's going to preside Tom, over Tom, you get the wig on. I mean, let's just oh, do this wow. properly, shall we? Oh, wow. This feels we? different for me. It's... Uh, yeah. And I must say to everyone that I will be very open-minded. <laughs> I won't be taking sides. This will take you back a long time, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, claimants, can I please have your... Statement, well, we would like Ramesh to not play us, so plan when your mum is going to cook you curry. Just get his shit together, basically. Just be more of a decent human being. Or get a backbone. What did you say? Backbone. We yeah. don't have one, I think. <laughs> yeah, I thoroughly agree with both of those points. Yeah. It's going to take something pretty special from you, lad. What's for dinner tonight, Rob? <laughs> So, we have got Persephone... That's correct. ..and Rio. Uh, thank you for... You all right there, mate? <laughs> what are you doing? You were in the way. Come out here, mate. Come out here. <laughs> thank you. Oh, dear. Here you go. <laughs> Neil, you've got to have to kneel up here yeah. when you're seeing him. <laughs> No, so you just got up in there on your knees, so... 
Listen. <laughs> what do you think you're playing at, bro? <laughs> Let me explain something to you. I understand if your view's getting blocked. Do you... That is the noisiest I've ever heard anyone make <laughs> we're, we're doing TV here, mate. We're not dicking about. <laughs> and then I see this grinning little loon scratching his way across the court. <laughs> You pull that shit again, I'll have him throw you out, and after you're out back, he'll eat you for a snack. <laughs> Promise, maybe you could just sit here for the rest so he can't get in any problems. I'd have him sit next to me if you want. So Do you know what, chair. Tom? I think it's a good idea. Let's get your chair up next to Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Put a foul line, mate. <laughs> sit down here with me, you mate. Sit down over see there. See how that feels. <laughs> sit down there. See how noisy you are then, dickhead. <laughs> You look like Tom's pet. <laughs> he is. What's your name, by the way? Murray. 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 Uh, what do you do? I have a sweetener company. Do you own the company? Yeah. OK, and maybe you could use some of it to sweeten up your attitude, you disrespect. I'm <laughs> 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 uh, so sorry about that uh, disruption. Uh, so, Persephone, you've brought uh, Rio to court today. Could you explain to the court why it is you've brought her here? I'm bringing Rio to court because she stole my finishing move, which is the camel clutch. We were on the same show. OK, hold on a second. <laughs> uh, it's called the what? The camel clutch. <laughs> I thought that was Donald Trump's special move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, OK, go on. So, we were on the same show. Right. Her fight was before mine. She used it as a finisher to win her match, which means I had to rethink my strategy. So, did you invent the move? No, I didn't invent the move, but right. she used it on the same show I was on. Other wrestlers would have saw that, thought, ah, oh, right, that could happen later. So, it means I couldn't do it. Uh, what do you think about wrestling? Mm, I used to watch... Mate, you've got to be sharp. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wow. I used to watch TNA as a kid. All right. I don't know if Sorry, is, is that wrestling? It's all it's all a, it's all a show, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's. I think we're getting a bit distracted here. Persephone, if she was on before you, how would she even know that you were going to use that move? I've had I'm on YouTube, I'm on streaming sites, DVDs. She'd have watched those and thought, you know what? I quite like that. I'm going to nick that. Uh, Rio, I caught up noticing uh, your belt. Uh, yeah, yeah, the title that? women's championship that I won via camel clutch. Is it really camel clutch? It's I feel really like I'm a victim clutch. of a stitch up here. What is a camel clutch? Because it sounds like when your pants are too tight. Yeah. <laughs> it shows off your labia majora. Yeah, it's like what my wife would say after watching a horror film, do you know what I mean? Like, oh, God, that may... gave me a bit of camel clutch. 